Hello and welcome to another video for the Talking Mac channel, youtube.com slash Talking Mac. This time, Visual Hub, the universal video converter for Mac, and it's great. Uh, you can find it at techspansion.com slash Visual Hub. You can uh, see the address right there, techspansion.com slash Visual Hub. You'll see the address on your screen as well, and probably over there to the show notes. Now, it just, it's really just, it's just, uh, it's just a great utility. Uh, you can try it out if you don't want to buy it. It's twenty three dollars and thirty two cents. You can try it out there. Um, it only allows two minute conversions, so that's not much help. Just go ahead and buy it. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, find Visual Hub here. There it is. Wow, magical video, huh? <laughs> okay, so. There's a couple of things at the top of the Visual Hub um, uh, window. You can export or uh, convert in iTunes format, PSP, DV, which is really, 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 really big DV. So be careful now. You can even ready it for Final Cut, which is great. Especially if you're a Final Cut user, I'm not, but you know. You can do DVD quality, AVI, which is great. MP4, my personal favorite, uh, WMV, MPEG, Flash, along with its raw FLV format. I use MP4 with H.264 encoding, and I go nuts with the quality, so I don't lose any quality there. All right, so I have this folder here, and um, I'm just going to take this, and uh, let's see here. Drag it right into the interface, and I'm going to tell it where to uh, go to save the file. And we'll just click the start button right there, and it will start up for us. <clears throat> so I love MP4; it's a great format for importing into iMovie. And you just heard that boing sound. Um, it's done. We can just click OK. And uh, let's see if the folder has it in it. And voila, there's the MP4 version. Now look at the file difference. It's bigger. Sometimes it's smaller. Sometimes it's bigger. But let's see. Let's see if there was any quality loss. Let's look at the original one. This is the dot .move or dot .mov. Let's look at the uh, MP4 converted one. I don't see any quality loss. Maybe the colors are a little richer on the move, but uh, yeah, the colors are a little richer, but still great if you need that format. Um, if you need that format change, um, Visual Host for you now. If you want to go the free route, if you are penny pinching, or you just don't have the money to buy one right now, you can go with another program called iSquint. Right there at the top, you'll see it right there. iSquint. It's the it's the stripped down version. Of Visual Hub, you can see what it does on iSquint and what it does on Visual Hub. So it obviously it can convert for iPod, iSquint. Visual Hub can do that too. It does not have dynamic preview. It doesn't have auto crop. It does not have two pass encoding. It does not have switch and combine videos. It doesn't have X grid encoding. It doesn't amplify the volume. It doesn't fit 18 hours on one DVD. Uh, it doesn't convert for DVD, P P PSP, DV, AVI, WMV, MPEG, TiVo, HDV, Flash, etc. So um. Visual Hub is worth is worth the uh, price, but um, you know, if you just want videos for your iPod, is that all you want to do Visual Hub for? iSquit is great. So check them out at techspansion.com slash Visual Hub.